is Ben, Liam and Bell on Nova. G'day there, podcaster. Oh, just another day of hashtag media life. Uh, Bell, yesterday uh, we, we were filming ads, the day before that filming ads. This morning, your first breakfast television debut. Um, ha- how are you feeling about that? Yeah, I feel okay. I mean, I won't know till we're actually there, I think. It just doesn't... Could you imagine if we're sitting there on the couch, Studio 10, and they go, and what do you think, Bell? And you just... You just you lock up and all the cameras and I are would, on. I would and trust that you would jump in. Hot. No, I think that's not the way it works. Everyone, my, looks, everyone looks at the person and goes, yeah. say something. And my gets, brain would immediately... If you, if you literally froze up on national TV, my brain would immediately go, this is great content for the show. Yeah, but be, I also, yeah. you know I wouldn't do that. No, you'd be fine. Um, so, yeah, uh, th- by the time this podcast comes out, it's probably already aired. Yep. But uh, I'm sure we'll talk about it in an off-air podcast or maybe even on the show if something happens uh, tomorrow. But enjoy today's podcast. And it's great to be here. Uh, we've obviously recently relocated to Melbourne, so um, there's been open inspections at our, our place, our Adelaide place. And um, I think I've told you guys about this before, but we've got one of those Anko doorbells mm. from, from Kmart. They're really good. They're only like 100 bucks, and it's got a camera on it, and then you get like an app on your phone, and then you can like live stream. If the, you know, It senses when there's people there, and you can watch them. Yep. Um, so handy if there's like a post coming or whatever, and you're at work. And it's it's come in handy because we've been watching the opens from Melbourne, so oh. we're you know we're a, we're a whole state away, but we can sort of see you know yeah. who, who's coming through. That's creepy. I, it is I a like bit, it. but it's also you know they're coming into your place. I guess so. so every time is it every time you they the you doorbell can, senses can, someone you can live stream. So I can put it on right now and just see what's out there. You oh. just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good system. And um, so we we had an open uh, last night, and and a, and a couple came to see the place, and so so they walked up to the door, and I, I was watching because I was like, yeah, there were supposed to be like three groups coming through, so I was sort of like, oh, hoping they would. Stay Still come, and um, as a joke, I was with my partner. Um, like, like Shrek, I, I said, "Get out my swamp!" No, you didn't. As they as they came to the the door, and and I, and I forgot about the microphone feature that the app <laughs> <laughs> that the app also has. So it has like if you look on the bottom left corner, and if you have this app, you'll see it. There's like a speaker, and I had a line through the speaker. Which means I can't hear them. But then there's, oh. so I thought, yeah, I've got it on mute, like it's yeah. whatever. Um, but the microphone was still live, <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I know it is a bit creepy and cheeky, and you're sort of just watching these people when you shouldn't be. They've walked up to the door and heard, "Get out of my swamp!" <laughs> come come out of the speaker, and then they sort of investigated, like they they looked closer, like their face went really close to the doorbell, and I just like threw my phone to the other side of the room because I was just cringing so much. And they, I don't know, I mean, they still, I, I think I think they're going to put in an application, so I don't know. Maybe they th- maybe they think it's just a Shrek themed doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I like that. I love that DreamWorks. It's 610. Hallelujah, it's 610. The 610 quiz. Uh, five questions in front of us. Georgina and Q, good morning. How are you doing? Georgina. Yeah. Oh, there. Gotcha. Oh, my God. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Is this, your, is this your first time on the radio? No, this is my second time on the radio. Oh, right. Oh. I mean, have you been on with yes. us before or were you on with a different show? Um, I think I was on this show. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> I should have remembered oh, that. What, what, Georgina, what, sorry. sorry, Georgina, what did you call through for? Oh, to win the quiz. Oh, oh. okay. All right. So, uh, well, let me know. And how did you go? Did you win or did you fail? I hope I win. No, she's called through this time, she's saying, to play the quiz. We're on totally different places. Yeah, we are. Let's get into it. Cool. (laughs) All right. uh, First question. Pete Davidson and M. Ratter (laughs) are said to be getting more serious after a month of dating. Who was Pete dating before her? Who was Pete dating before her? Yeah. Um... Um, That's the question. We just need the answer. Mm. Can you repeat the question, please? Oh, uh, wow. Okay, <laughs> Pete Davidson. He's with Pete M. Davidson. Ratter. He's pretty famous. He was with someone mm-hmm. even more famous than her before. Um, Ariana Grande? It, no, uh, at, well, at some point he, he was, was, but that's not the answer we're looking for. Uh, let's see if Nikki knows uh, Pete Davidson. He was with someone super famous just like a few months ago. Do you remember who it was? Yeah. Who was it? <laughs> Uh, can you say the question again? Oh, we're having a fun <laughs> morning here. Oh, gag. Okay. Everyone, a, switch a, on. Pete, Pete Davidson. He was with someone who was also with Kanye West. Very famous. So it was the guy that you said first. Oh, yeah. my God. No, Kardashian. 
Okay. Yes, yes. All right, let's all, let's really break it down. <laughs> let's break it down Pete here. Pete Davidson. You know Pete Davidson, yeah? 13, 20, 14 Pete also, Davidson. if you know the answer. Yep, yeah. Pete Davidson. Who is yeah, he? The da- answer's in the question. Okay. Oh, I think we're going to move on to Josh. Thanks, guys. 13, 24, 10. There are still a few, a few free phone lines. And now Josh has dropped off. This has been an absolute dog's breakfast, guys. It's only taken two weeks for the actual wheels to come off. Do you want to go back to our first caller, Georgina? I, I, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we're running out of options, so we're going to have to Georgina. Uh, let's move on to the second question. Though. Yeah, no, it was Kim Kardashian, guys. Okay, so, what? What are you saying? What are you saying to me? <laughs> What's happening right Kaya now? Kaya Kerber. Uh, no. 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 No, no, no. No, mate. Kim Kardashian. Forget about that. We're moving on. Okay? All, right. all right. We're all rooting all right. for all you, right. Second question. New Zealand. <laughs> that was only the first question. New Zealand is set to be smoke-free by 2025. What is the addictive drug in cigarettes? Um... You get patches for it? Drug in cigarettes. It's, yeah. People get addicted to it. Nicotine? It's nicotine. We're on a roll. Okay, the cursed child has clocked up 1,000 performances at the Princess Theatre. Which famous wizard (laughs) is the cursed child about? Can you repeat that question? Oh, I swear to God, if we have to repeat one more question. Cursed child, big play. You might have seen it. Uh, A lot of posters around. Um, Who's it about? The wizard kid? Got a scar on his head? Oh. I've got no idea. You don't know who the wizard kid with You're the scar is? You're joking, aren't you? No. It's Harry Potter. No idea. Harry Potter is oh. the answer. You know what? I think uh, we've never done this before, but I've, <laughs> I've, decided, really? I've decided we're not doing the rest of the quiz. <laughs> we're no, no. the quiz. I've decided the quiz has been cancelled. This, this is the equivalent of turning the car around, because if you can't be good enough to get through five simple questions in the morning, we cancel the quiz. The quiz okay? has been cancelled. No, uh, but every- Georgina, no, thank you for calling Georgina. Like, she's got good energy. It- we'll give her points for her every- energy. Everyone go home. Quiz has been cancelled. You know what? I'm still going to play a good song because mm-hmm. I feel like that's the only way to end this. Yep. Um, so, look, uh, we'll decide this morning. you got two options. First one, this. <laughs> so, we can hear some Veronica's this morning. Or my personal favourite choice here is a bit of Goo Goo Dolls. An easy one for me. I'm going Goo Goo Dolls, Ben. Ben, um, what are you feeling? Oh, Veronica's, absolutely. Okay, well, we're going to play Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> Sorry, do Dad it is one. angry. <laughs> Dad's turned the car around. Dad's making a call. I love this song. On Nova 100, it is Slut. This is my favourite story of the year. We're joined now by a man named Graham, whose 1993 Toyota Corolla has surpassed 2 million Ks. <laughs> 2 million Ks, and he's still driving it. Uh, Graham, good morning. What are the current clicks at? What are you at at the moment? Good morning. Uh, it's on 2 million and 71,000 Ks. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I do find this. I didn't know cars could reach this milestone, Graham. Does it have the whole number on the on the kilometre tracker, like on the on the dash? The odometer. Yeah, the odometer. No, no, it, it changes over every every nine 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 nine, <laughs> and it goes back to zero. Wow! Oh, so, Graham, oh, oh, so, so you Graham, can sell it. You're you're doing sort of the math. <laughs> you're doing the math. You're doing the math here on this. So. How how did you sort of come... Like, when, when you're driving this thing mm. and it's still working, did you sort of think 10 years ago, I'm just going to push this until it drops? Or when did you realise this is just going to keep going? Oh, I had an engineer friend who said to me, if I didn't use more than 70% of the engine's power, yeah. it would last forever. And I think he's correct. <laughs> <laughs> so you're only driving like 60 k's everywhere. So this is the thing, though. Oh Graham. no, 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 no! I skim along at about five k's over the speed limit all the time. Yeah, okay. okay, well, <laughs> Try um, so how did you actually reach this huge milestone? What have you just been driving it around Australia? What have you been doing? Oh no, no, I'm in New Zealand. Oh right, okay. okay. So Sorry. do you drive your car for work a lot? Is that why you've got so many k's on it? Well, no, it's actually been doing a newspaper run between Wellington and Taranaki six days a week. Well, that'd do it. I suppose that'd Ah. do it. And how often are you getting it serviced, Graham? 
Um, <laughs> it gets serviced every second Friday. Oh. <laughs> You're going to get serviced fortnightly. <laughs> yeah, it has to be, yeah, well, it's done 10,000 cases. Eh? The oil has to be changed <laughs> and the filter has it's to be true. changed and all that sort of thing. That's the thing, Graeme. You could, as you said, it clicks over. If you reach three mil and then it clicks over again, you could sell it and say, mm. oh, it's only done 5,000. And this month, do, I mean, do you have little parties when it clicks over? I know my dad driving it, you know, even when you didn't understand what Ks were and he'd be like, oh, this went another 100,000. And, yeah. he'd have, you know, dads would get really excited about that. Like when you clock up a million, are you having some people over, having a few drinks, that sort of thing? No, not really. I've sort of got used to it over the years because I've been doing this job now for over 50 years, so I've had a lot of vehicles that have done huge mileage. Yeah, yeah. And so Bell mentioned there that when it ticks over to zero, you could potentially sell it. Would you ever do that, Graham? Would you ever sell this car? No, no, I'll never sell it. No, no, and it's basically I've left it to my son and my will. Oh, wow. Oh, sweet. What if you were talking to a radio station who would write you a blank check? <laughs> what would the number have to be? Oh, no, it's worth more than that. It's, it's sentimental value now. Yeah, okay. I see, I see. Have you ever done a fat skid in it? <laughs> Pardon? Have you, have you done a burnout before in it? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's front-wheel drive, too. Oh, yeah. Well, you get the knackers trays out. But, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll show you how to do it. Yeah. Graham, uh, look, it's been a pleasure speaking to you this morning. All the best and good luck to make it to the three mil mark. Get on you. Thank you very much. No worries. Unreal. Thanks, Graham. I like that. That's what we should all be doing. Servicing our car every two weeks. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant hitting two mil. I said, well, your car's up next. We'll do it with yours. Oh, yeah, why not? Embrace Christmas at Eastland for all your shopping needs. Visit eastland.com.au for more. Ben, Liam and Bell's Christmas cards. Yep, all thanks to Eastland. We have got up to $1,000 to give away every single day to help take care of your Christmas catch. The catch is... We've all got Christmas cards, so there's three in the studio right now. We don't know how much money is inside the envelope. Whoever you pick, that's whose envelope you get. And we do have either $1,000, $250, or, Liam, what have we got as our booby prize? Not a Christmas ham, a Christmas spam. This morning, can of spam. Uh, Jess is going to be playing in Fern Tree Gully. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, guys. Are you a fan of spam, Jess? Well, I'm actually a vegetarian, so no. <laughs> You're really not going to... Well, yes. and, and, and spam's one of those things I don't, I don't even know what meat it is. I you mean, know it's, what? It's a bit of everything, I think. As a fellow vego, Jess, if, I, if, you are, if you choose my envelope and it is the spam, then I'll absolutely swap it for something else. What about yeah, we? That sounds great. Jess, um, just letting you know, Belle says she's a fellow vegetarian, oh but God. I've seen her multiple times eating meat pies. It hasn't, Jess. I've heard that on the radio with you guys yeah, before. Yeah, it's not yeah. true. <laughs> I'm Thanks, a chain Jess. smoking meat eater, according to these boys, but no. Loves a you durry and a pie after the show. <laughs> I'm gonna, me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that in ice later, and it's going to be Belle no. saying, I'm a chain smoking meat eater. <laughs> All right, Jess, whose envelope do you want to pick this morning? Actually, Belle, I was going to choose you anyway, okay. so let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Should we do a thing where if it's the spam, Belle has to eat the spam for you? <laughs> no. Maybe <laughs> yeah, she would like that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. She would love it. All right, Jess. Have a Winnie Blue after that. Yeah. <laughs> it goes down a bit easier. All right. Well, thank God. Jess, you got $250. Oh. Hey, no worries. It sounded like you swore, but I think that was just your cheek yeah. um, touching one of the buttons on your phone. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, embrace Christmas at Eastland for all your shopping needs. Visit eastland.com.au for more. Out of interest, Ben, what have you got in your card over there? I have got... I got the booby prize. Ah, well, there you go. He's got the spam. Oh, so that left me with $1,000. So maybe next time, Jess, a little bit of respect for Liam, huh? <laughs> hey, I'm just over here trying to give people cash. We are playing again tomorrow. Make sure you tuned in if you want to win your Christmas cash. Also, if you want that spam, give us a buzz off no. there. We'll give it away before Belle eats it. Belle is the love rat. Love rat. Belle's a love rat. Yeah, uh, this is probably your first time hearing this if you're, if you're waking up in Melbourne, a segment we've been doing for a long time, um, dating back to the time when we used to refer to you as a, a rat, as a, one of our Oh, we're going to get into the whole background? No, we don't really need to. But the, the, you know, the point is, there is an email set up, loverat at novarefm.com.au. You can reach out at any time if you would like some relationship advice, if you've just got a story about yeah. something that's happened in your love life. You it's don't a, necessarily need, a, need advice. It's a good place to come to if you are looking for some advice, though, if you're not sure about something. 
always hit up the email. People do use it pretty regularly. Yeah. They do. And they sometimes send funny memes, yes. which it's not really the place for that, but I, I do appreciate it. Uh, Anna in Sunshine West uh, got in touch. She said, hi, I love rant. I've got some drama for you. We love drama. Mm. Uh, I've recently broken up with a guy I was seeing all of this year. My dad's an Uber driver, and after a Christmas party, he picked up the guy I was seeing and one of the girls in my friendship <gasps> group. How good. Oh my Merry God. Christmas How to me, good. I suppose. <gasps> oh. oh, I'm sorry, Anna. That's awful. Bit of a stretch saying Merry Christmas to me, though. Like, it's not, it's not Christmas yet. Well, wow. yeah, Christmas party. Uh, is that your also, main takeaway from that, man? Is that, <laughs> that's why you're not the love rat. <laughs> but also for the dad, I mean, the poor dad, uh, she hasn't said there, but obviously I take it he would have had to come home and go, well, yeah. got some news for you. Yeah, they, um, they would get their old handsy in the back. That's awful. Surely, though, the guy getting into the Uber would have realised that's my partner's dad. Not after a Christmas party. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but that's awful. And catching someone or having someone cheat in the first place is just absolutely awful. Um, I had a friend who uh, was sharing a... She had a split birthday party with her boyfriend at the time a few yeah. years ago. Their birthday was a few days apart. They had a joint um, birthday party and she unfortunately did walk upstairs and catch him with uh, one of his sister's friends. Oh, my God. Um, at the joint Seriously? party, which at was joint awful. Party. It was awful. And so, obviously, the whole party just stopped there. That was it and then it kind of I mean we did pick it up and just made it about her which was lovely oh. <laughs> there's, there's some horrible ways to catch a cheater uh, and I think we could probably all um, support Anna this morning and maybe mm. share some other stories and say it's not it's not so bad yeah I mean your dad picking up your, your boyfriend with one of your friends is pretty bad I don't know if we're going to get worse than that but why don't we do this this morning how'd you catch the cheater 13, 24, 10 maybe you caught him red handed yourself Maybe one of your friends came across the bad behaviour. How did you catch the cheater, Melbourne? 13 24 10 is the number. If you get in touch, we'll give you a flashy dinner experience as well. So yeah. you can maybe take out that new day. Hopefully they can ease the pain. 13 24 10, give us a buzz. We'd love to hear your stories on how did you catch the cheater. Jane and Morty Alec, what happened? Hello, um... My uni friend, my best friend at the time, I walked into a random cafe at the random place in Mulgrave and I saw her boy, current boyfriend um, on a date with a girl. Oh, and so what did you... It was a date, though. Yeah. And at the time, they were having difficulties, so I drove... I texted her and I was like, hey, like, can I come over? And she was like, this is random, like, it's like 9.30 on a Saturday morning. Mm. And I was like, no, I just want to see you. And then I broke the news and, yeah, obviously it wasn't good and she broke up with him straight away. Oh. I mean, yeah, we can't jump to conclusions. It could have been a candlelit business meeting, <laughs> you know, <laughs> at, a, at a nice restaurant. I don't know. No, That's yeah. Tough, though, when you're the friend and then you have to, you know, you're I'd be worried messenger. that you're going to, yeah, shoot mm. the messenger. Yeah, you, were the, you were the dad Uber driver in this story. Stacey and Mickleham, did you catch a cheater? Yeah, I did. Well, kind of my friend did. So um, I was seeing this guy and, like, he was really good at, obviously, technology and stuff, and he hit it on Facebook that he was in a relationship. Mm. So, like, this picture popped up of um, him and this girl, and you clicked on that and it went into her profile, and, yeah, sure enough, he was in a relationship with her. Hang on. Oh. So you thought that you were dating this guy thinking he was yeah. single, but then turns out he was in another relationship. Yeah, yeah, with oh. someone else, and they'd been together for like oh, two years, I think. So what did you? So I was, so what I was did you that do? other person. Well, I confronted him, and I've never heard from him since. And so, how long? Sorry, did you say how long were you seeing him for before this? Seven months, and it all made sense afterwards. You know, there was only t certain times that he'd answer his phone, and I just oh. thought maybe that was because of work. Yeah, um, he'd call you Julie yeah. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that's that's horrible those days. Uh, Christy joins us now in Brighton. How did you catch the cheater? I caught the cheater on Instagram. <laughs> oh, okay, now. Yeah. Righto. I noticed he was in the state, and I noticed he, he was being a bit odd and stating, and I checked Instagram his followers who he was following. He didn't really follow that many people. Mm. And I noticed a new girl. And so I clicked on the girl who had an, a public profile mm. and watched her story and it showed <gasps> like a whole wow, just wow. Oh my God. You, you did some yeah. investigating, I didn't you? I to go for the FBI now. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm you went well, deep. Yeah, the, I mean, you say he only followed a few people. Like you had to sift through like nine hundred. Yeah, and you also recognised when there was a new one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, uh, that, yeah. You're, then again, <laughs> look, your suspicions were right, so it's not that crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean, like wow. you, there was something dirty there, and you probably knew it deep down. Brock in Keysborough, what happened, mate? Hey guys, uh, so I was at work and my partner called me saying that, you know, she was having some family troubles. Yeah. So I asked my best friend to go over to uh, accompany her while I was at work. I got off work a little bit earlier to try and surprise her and I walked in the bedroom to them doing it. Wow, Whoa. that's like um, like out oh. of love actually it's where like he gets start home. Of, yeah, or it's like the start of a sad movie or like a romantic comedy. Where it's like, yeah, oh, it's my best actually. friend and my... I guess everyone's stories, everyone's situation is different. It seems strange to me, Brock, that you called your friend to go comfort them. Well, I mean, you, yeah, you didn't, that's not supposed to happen. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously him. you've cut both those people out of your life, Brock. Yeah, it's... Look, it's it's not great, but look, I called him because at the time he was one of my closest mates. Right. So it was the easiest way, and I'd asked him to comfort her when I wasn't around. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds, sounds like a bit of a pig of yeah. me, to be honest. Oh, you wanted me to comfort her? <laughs> what do you want, Brock? What do you want from me, huh? <laughs> I did my best. I'm a physical I'm man. Sorry, I'm a lover. Brock. Sorry, mate. Hey, look, we are continuing this this morning. We want to know, how did you catch the cheater? You can remain anonymous if you don't want to say your name on air. If you've got a story to share, 13 24 10. Yeah, we'll give you a $220 bounce to Bagani Estate, Yarra Valley, so you can wind down, stay there, Brock. Maybe take your new partner there, and, and hopefully they won't do the dirty on you. Uh, Rayanne joins us now. Uh, what happened? with you so we were laying in bed and he got a text message from his auntie and i opened the text message and it was a nude photo from one of the girls oh so he had her saved in his phone as auntie (laughs) yeah he definitely did and it wasn't the only one i checked all of them and most of his aunties were girls (laughs) oh that's so cheeky he's really close with all his aunties. I mean, so, I mean, I'm glad you realised it was he's just changed the name and not like, oh, this is a weird family. Like, what's going on here? How did you approach this, Rayanne? What did you do when you found out? I threw the phone at his face and told him to get out. Yeah, well, as <laughs> you he should have. Did he get out? Um, after a bit of like arguing back and forth, yeah. saying it's not what it seems, I'm like, what do you mean it's not what yeah. it seems? It is my auntie. Right. It is my auntie. I swear, <laughs> it's a weird thing she does. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, Rayanne. Olivia from Cranburn. How did you catch the cheater? Um, he wants to go to the a different city during his birthday with some quote friends. Mm. I wanted to surprise him, and I bought him a bunch of presents. I showed up, and he was. A little bit friendlier than you would think in bed with three of his friends. Three? Uh, yes. So. I no mean. Yet. He wasn't lying. At, at, <laughs> that, at that point, are you like. Oh, I'm not even mad. I'm just impressed. I mean, that's. No, that, Liam, I mean, that, no. I mean, that's horrible. That is. No, it's, it's actually horrible. But I mean, three. Three other ladies? I mean, who, or like, was it like. A bit, of, was, bit of everything? A bit or? Of mix? No, he, well, he had like a couple of friends in the house, and I think he had just chosen his favourite picks and taken them to bed. So, yeah. Oh, my God. What's right, going on with that? As men as are, you know, men are pigs. <laughs> men are pigs. <laughs> men are pigs. Yeah. I hope, have, you, have you found someone now that you're happy with, Liv? Yes, I am happily living with my partner for three years now. Oh, Perfect. lovely. Yes, it's that, but oh, never. I- Never forget, men are pigs. <laughs> you know? Stacey and Garam Downs. Uh, last one here. How did you catch the cheater? Uh, my boyfriend at the time was a DJ, so he used to get tagged in photos all the time, like venue cam and all Sick. of that stuff, and one of them was kissing the stripper that worked at the nightclub. Oh, and that was just tagged on, like, Facebook? <laughs> yeah, on Facebook. <laughs> Part of the show. We choreographed it. We choreographed it. <laughs> if you date a DJ, I wouldn't expect anything like All right. Uh, Bree in Hampton Park, you caught a cheater? I did, yes. Oh, dear. What happened? Um, so I got him up and dressed and ready for work in the morning, made his lunch like a good missus does. Mm-hmm. Um, off he went. And then about an hour and a half later, I had my best mate at the time call me and say, do you know where your par- partner is? I said, yeah, he's at work. She sent me a text message and told me to check my Facebook. Yeah. And I opened it. And there was a picture of him standing in the middle of Cranbourne making out with this girl. 
Why was, she, why was it on Facebook? Did she yeah. take the photo and send it to you? or She did, so that way I could have the evidence. Okay, it wasn't oh. like she posted it on your wall. I knew, that, I knew that he would deny it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. man. That Sorry. sucks, bro. And what did you the do then? Did you call part, him? Yeah. No, I know. I was going to call him because I'm a very angry person. Mm. You don't say I was going to call... <laughs> I was gonna call him and I was just gonna be like, How dare you? But I thought, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play on this. So I waited till he came home that night and I said, Hey babe, how was your day? And then he tried to kiss me and I pushed him away and he's like, What's going on? And he's like, Oh, I had a really good day at work and I said, Did you? And then I produced the photo and I said, Get out of my house. Oh yeah. Nice. yeah, he tried to suck up and you know, oh that's not me and then I called <laughs> my Damn. Yeah. I love the excuse that are coming out. That is the guy who's been copying me. <laughs> he, he, he wears the same clothes as me. He walks around. He's got the same haircut. Uh, all right, let's go to Anonymous. Good morning. How'd you catch the cheetah? Um, I was about 15 at the time. My dad had lent me his phone to spend the day with my friends. Mm-hmm. I saw a random number, the international number. I thought that's a bit strange. So my friend and I thought it would be great at the time to... Google my dad's name and popped up his profile for a Russian bride website. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Obviously fast forward a couple of years, they're now married. Um, I, that was something that was happening whilst my mum wasn't aware. Oh, that's horrible. So did you, so when you found out, you're only 15 years old, so you didn't tell your mum at the time? Um, I asked my dad about it. Actually, he caught me, to be honest. Ah. Um, he was, because I tried to call the number so he confronted me about it and said, why are you calling this number? And I said, well, who is it? Like, I don't yeah. understand. And he was like, oh, it's my friend. Like, she'll be coming here to live with us. And I said, I don't understand what you're talking <sighs> so about. Um, this was at a time where my parents were trying to reconcile their marriage oh, and whatnot. God, so yeah. it was oh. a really bad time. Now, uh, Anonymous, you've said that they're now together. So are you st- still, like, connected to them? Um, is she, like, your stepmom now? Um, I don't have any relations with them anymore. Right, okay. Mm. Okay. Um, so but, that was a relationship foiled between all parties. Certainly was anonymous oh, and a pretty sad, juicy one to end it on. Yeah. Thank you for calling and sharing. Well, Anon, we'll send you along to Ed Sheeran. You're a fan of him? Yeah, I definitely am. Amazing. Take my mum with me? Yes. Yeah. Well, don't take Svetlana. We don't like <laughs> don't her. Don't take Svetlana. <laughs> <laughs> don't take other <laughs> Russian mum. Uh, she can get stuffed. Uh, <laughs> What's trending? It's trending all over the internet. Twitter. Instagram. Welcome to Facebook. Well, firstly, this morning, New Zealand are banning smoking all together. By 2025, so just a mere few years away, no one born after January 1st, 2009 will be able to buy cigarettes. Not now, not for the rest of their life. They're also reducing all their stores from 6,000 stores selling to 600 around the country. Wow. And, uh, yeah, basically, if you if you get caught buying cigarettes, you can face a fine up to $140,000. Imagine that. That's a big stink. Yeah. Yeah, which, is, which is what it costs to smoke for a year. <laughs> uh, but, of course, uh, the, the, only, the companies are doing that now because vaping. It's, we've gone to the full transition, so it's like, oh, we'll do the right thing. We'll get rid of cigarettes, but you can vape until your heart's content. Mm-hmm. Um, that means Bell will never be going to New Zealand. Well, this is when true. Did this we do start know. About um, me being a smoker. Bell does love to smoke in the songs, although she does try and deny. <laughs> but I uh, wouldn't believe a thing that comes out of her nicotine filled <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> the biggest band in the world, BTS. <laughs> They've officially started their military service. Remember how a few months ago we started talking about how because they're from South Korea, they yeah. will have to serve in the military as everybody does and they were not being exempt from it. So Jin, the oldest member, has just begun his 18 months of mandatory military service um, and he actually had fans gathered outside, out the front um, of the base to say goodbye to him. Wow. He's fully shaved his head, he's got the whole look ready to go. They're finally getting some hands-on dynamite experience. I wonder if their service will affect some of their other songs. So, duh! Da, 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 drone strikes. <laughs> I suppose, you know, they'll learn about all sorts of sort of, uh, you know, military technology that they'll be able to sing about. And finally, the hottest new couple, Pete Davidson and M. Radikowski, are said to be turning things up and actually becoming quite serious. They were first spotted about a month ago together. And look, I will say, I am quoting sources here who are close to the couple and have said that they are taking things to the next level. I mean, the Riz.
on this guy. It's unmatched. Mm. How does he do it? I mean, I was looking at an article the other day and I was like, I just, I just don't get it. Like, mm. just how many people he's gone through. And my, and my fiance was like, oh, I get it. I get it. And I was like, okay, I get that you get it. You don't have to tell me that you get it. It was a joke before he started dating M. Everyone was saying, oh, surely M. Radikowski is going to be the next because she's like one of the hottest girls in the world. Yeah, I mean, this whole time, I mean, at school, I was like, oh, all the other you know guys are muscly and I should go to the gym and stuff. And the whole time, I should have just looked like a raccoon. <laughs> I would have had more luck. You know what I'm saying? For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.